What's going on guys? Ryan Shred here. And uh, I just want to give my uh, review on Han Solo, Solo, the Star Wars story. And uh, overall, even though, and let me make this clear. I know this is coming out late. So back in May, I did watch, went to go see the movie opening night. But see, I forgot to record a review. But the problem was, is that I forgot to record the review, and then months later when it finally came out to download, well, to buy, I bought the movie, I rewatched it, and I was like, oh shit, I didn't do a review, because I was looking on my YouTube channel to see if I did a review, maybe do an update if I did, because I had some changes in my mind for the movie. So anyway, I remember hearing so much hate, so much how this movie is so bad, and you know, the rumors and stuff, so I went to go see it the first time, opening night, and I remember, and this is the first time, I like going to opening nights because I like that, it's, I feel like you get the full audience movie, uh, go or, um, adventure in a way, you know, reactions, kind of like when I went to go see Avengers Infinity War, and, and Deadpool 2, which was funny as hell, <laughs> but I'll get into another video for that. But um, anyway, I remember watching the movie uh, opening night. I remember lost. I heard a lot of people, you know, groaning. Some people. One guy said, "I remember walking." I remember he said when I was walking out the movie, and he said that he's telling his buddy that and tell, telling his buddy that the movie sucked. That that I hate these new Star Wars movies. I was like, nah. For me, and it still stands for me, I feel like the first half until they go on that adventure to get that stuff, you know, to keep them alive, you know, the because they lost it on the train. I feel like once they all got together, um, Chewbacca, um, what's that guy's name? The guy from um, Zombieland. But anyway, and that other girl, I can't remember her name either. But because uh, they weren't remember rememberable. Re rememberable characters. Um, the only characters that stood out for me was the char the actor who played Solo and Chewbacca, and uh, that's pretty much it. And um, you know, I feel like that towards after the train part, after the the other two characters died, that was part of his gang originally, or his crew, whatever. Um, when they died, I feel like the movie kind of went downhill from there. But, I feel like, the one thing I hated, I hated how they just, I feel like at the end, I felt like they just threw it in there, towards the end, uh, how Solo won the, the Millennium, Millennium Falcon from Lando. Which, by, oh, that's another character that stood out, Lando. When I first heard his voice, when he was acting, um, which was played by uh, Danny, uh, what's his name? Shit, I'm like this. I'm recording this in the morning, but anyway, uh, Daniel Glover or something like that. Amazing, and the voice it was point on. But anyway, I just hated how the end, how he won the. Yeah, I, I know how the, the first game he lost, and he figured out how he was using his you know, that little machine in his arm, not machine, but little um, gadget to you know get the card to win the game. You know, kind of like poker, and like <laughs> I knew. I just felt like at the end it, they just threw it in there, and then I was like, "Nah, I can't, I can't mess with that," you know, because like I felt like that was kind of rushed. And I get that this, it felt like this movie was directed by different directors, which it was, but I felt like they took all the scenes that the directors, you know, filmed and threw it together like a compilation into one movie, you know, and I felt like it had so much potential, but. I feel like it fell flat at the end, but at at the end of the day, I really think this show, not a show, sorry, I thought my camera stopped, I feel like my movie, this this movie, I feel like this movie could have been a TV show, you know, and if they do this whole Disney service thing, you know, because they already got the, uh, the Mandalorian and the Clone Wars, if they do another TV series and plus that Game of Thrones trilogy they're coming with, I think they should, uh, if they wanted to bring Solo back, or even do an Obi-Wan TV show, I feel like they should make those TV shows. All the spinoffs they were planning on doing, I feel like they could make a TV show out of that. So, but I heard some rumors that George Lucas is supposed to film 
Obi-Wan, even though they canceled it. But I don't know. Rumor, speculation. But, overall, I'm going to give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. Just because Chewbacca, Lando, and um, Solo. I feel like those three characters stood out the most. And really, they're really the only ones that really mattered to me. And the others, I feel like they weren't. The other characters were kind of like just threw in there and threw out. That's why I felt like this movie, what these characters were. And that droid, I felt like the droid was just... But, anyway, I don't, I don't know. But, you know, I have to be careful what I say. Because I know you motherfucking Star Wars fans. You know, not all of y'all, but like, including, I'm a Star Wars fan too. But like, a lot of y'all motherfuckers, I remember I said something. Because I said how the whole remake of The Last Jedi, someone, the fan made film, I think is a bunch of bullshit. I think that if you really think the last jedi is worse than the phantom menace and the attack of the clones you've lost your fucking mind and i don't want to hear no complaints out of you again but you know i i mean i like criticism don't get me wrong but to the people that just bring hatred and hatred i rather i rather sit here and hear a rant about how dc fans hate marvel fans than hear about these Star Wars, some of these Star Wars fans just bring hate and just like shutting down other Star Wars fans that actually enjoyed The Last Jedi and enjoyed. So sorry about that, my camera stopped. But um, I'm giving this a 7.5 out of 10. Um, the movie could have been great, had some potential, but it didn't. So. I would love this if they did if they want to continue this character in the story they should make a TV show out of it. So and mainly all the solo, not meaning Han Solo, but all the other movie, uh, you know, side stories they want to tell. I feel like they should put that in a TV show. But hey, but yeah, hit the like button, comment down below, and tell me what you think. And if you disagree with me or you do not. Um, and if anything else, please subscribe to the best in the business you dig, Ryan Shred TV. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.